Welcome. In this video, we will explore S4 HANA International Trade and try to make it clear what it is, and what it is not. In addition, we will look at a practical example of export control in connection with a sales order. This video presents a high-level and generic overview of a specific SAP product or functionality. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. The goal of this video is to provide information that will make it easier for you to make your own choices. Let us look at some of the benefits of running international trade within S4 HANA Enterprise Management. An obvious benefit is to ensure regulatory compliance when trading internationally, avoiding hefty fees and disciplinary actions from authorities. Legal compliance is ensured by integrating international trade activities seamlessly with your supply chain activities. Thanks to that integration, reduced work effort through automation should be expected, combined with higher levels of trade compliance. Before we run an outbound end-to-end -end process, we will spend a few minutes in order to explain S4 HANA International Trade, its primary focus and also see how it racks up against SAP Global Trade Services. S4 HANA International Trade is a module within S4 HANA. It is comparable to the SDFT foreign trade functionality to be found in SAP ECC or ERP. It is not a new global trade services. SAP GTS will remain a separate product offering, with distinct functional differences compared to international trade. International trade supports the classification of products, legal control, embargo checks and interstate reporting. In addition, it provides integration with SAP Global Trade Services and SAP Watch List Screening. A comparison between S4 HANA International Trade and SAP Global Trade Services reveals that they share some basic functionality. However, if direct filing with customs authorities, or exploiting trade preference agreements and special customs procedures, like for instance Customs Warehouse or FTZ in the US, then GTS becomes the recommended solution. In our demo, we will follow a sales order process. We will create one sales order. For the order to get cleared, we will need one valid and active export license. We will create the sales order and the subsequent delivery document. The delivery will be blocked, due to a missing license for the export controlled item. We will investigate the blocked delivery document, rectify the issue with the missing license, and assign the activated license to the blocked delivery item. Finally, we will check and see that the sales order and delivery document have been released. We will kick off the process by opening the Create Sales Order app and create the sales order. We indicate the order type and organizational units. We type in customer number and customer reference. We enter the material number and the required quantity. We save the order. The order is assigned order number 228110. After order creation, we will move the process forward by creating the corresponding outbound delivery. Immediately upon delivery creation, we are notified that the document has been blocked due to legal control. By using the Manage Documents Trade Compliance app we can get an overview of blocked documents. At the bottom, we can see our order. By drilling down, we get more insights into the reason behind. It is due to a missing license. An export license is a permit that a government issues to an exporter granting permission to sell certain goods to a given country, organization or individual. We manage licenses in the Manage License app. We search for available licenses and the system finds one. We can see that it has not been activated. This is the reason for our block. We activate the license. We can see that the license applies for a given export control class and is valid for one specific legal entity. Since we now have an active license, we can use the Resolve Block Documents app to get our block delivery released. We open the Resolve Block Documents app and can quickly recognize our block delivery. We search for available licenses and assign the active license to our delivery line item manually. As the last and final step in our demo, we will reopen the Manage Documents Trade Compliance app. 
At the bottom of the list, we can see that our order and delivery, that was previously blocked for further handling, now has been released and are good to go. The functionality described in this video is available in S4 HANA Enterprise Management. Cloud and on-premise. Let us recap some of the benefits of running international trade within S4 HANA Enterprise Management. An obvious benefit is to ensure regulatory compliance when trading internationally, avoiding hefty fees and disciplinary actions from authorities. Legal compliance is ensured by integrating international trade activities seamlessly with your supply chain activities. Thanks to that integration, reduced work effort through automation should be expected, combined with higher levels of trade compliance. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.